Hey guys, and welcome to the next tutorial. So in this one, we're going to add zooming in and out of the uh, ship. We're going to make it so that you can zoom forward and backwards, and we're also going to clean up our project a bit. So we'll start with that. So we'll go to our blueprints folder here. We'll add some more folders. We'll add one called space. We'll add another one called ships. We'll add another one called characters. And we'll add another one called weapons. We won't use all these today, but we'll uh, get to them eventually. Now drag your void field into the space folder and move here. Now go to your flying BP folder, go into blueprints, and drag the flying pawn into the ships folder that we created, and move here. Now right click the flying BP folder, fix up redirectors and folder, and delete. So that'll clean that up a bit. Now the next thing we're going to do is work on zooming. So go to the flying uh, new ships folder we created, go into the flying pond, go to the top of the event graph. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get mouse wheel up and D pad up. Now we're going to get the spring arm offset, get, and off that we're going to do plus vector plus vector. Do plus 25 on the x-axis and then we're going to drag off the spring arm offset again and do set and connect these connect that to the mouse wheel up connect here now drag our spring arm from the left over here get that drag off of it and do set offset and do set socket offset and connect our spring arm offset to that now if we hit play, save, go into our game, play, and we hit F, and we hit mouse wheel forward, it doesn't do anything. That's because we didn't connect them, so we'll connect them, compile, save, play, go into our ship, hit F, mouse wheel forward, and it zooms us in. But you'll notice that it zooms us in infinitely and we can keep going forward, which is kind of a problem. So we'll correct that. We'll go back to it. And off our spring arm offset, off the addition, we're going to do a clamp. Clamp vector size. Of the minimum, we'll set 1000. And for the maximum, we'll set that to 2000. Connect that. Now, the zooming was also a little bit slow, so we'll change that to plus 50. And now let's also do this for zooming out. So we'll do D pad down, mouse wheel down, select all of this except the addition. Now off the spring arm offset, we'll do a negative vector minus vector, do minus 50, connect that again. Connect these, compile, play. Now if we go forward and we go into our ship, we can zoom out and we can zoom in and there's a limit. So we can't zoom out any further than 2000 units and we can't zoom in any closer than 1000 units. Now in the next video, we're going to add it so that you can zoom in more than 1000 units, but we'll set it so that when you zoom in at this point, it adds it to the cockpit view. And then when you go back, it'll take you out of the cockpit view. So I hope to see you in that video, and uh, I'll catch you.